sorry. Me and Mux were just laughing about that phasmophobia clip. And about how he loves it, but if he doesn't know it's there, he thinks that, like, I've fallen down the stairs and, like, broken my back or some shit. Or I'm being brutally murdered. Brutally murdered would actually make more sense. Okay. All of the above. Oh, bullshit. Oh, he's right here. I mean, it would make sense if he'd be right there. Oh, hey. It's you. What's up? You're related to the ferryman who carries a red bag around, right? Yeah. He's my little brother. Haven't seen him in a while, though. A shame. Have you any idea where he may have absconded to? Not a clue. Like I said, I haven't seen him. Oh, that's unfortunate. But the last time I did see him, he said something about using his ferry to deliver letters. Maybe you should try talking to someone at the post office. We have to go back to Seafront. I guess we could ask the postman over in Seafront. Ah. Uh. Just once, I would enjoy receiving a quest that can be <laughs> solved in the general vicinity of the Asker. Uh. It's actually funny because I was just bitching about going back and forth. I cannot believe how many trips we have made simply to track down a single man. It's all right to do this kind of thing every now and then. I only pray this is not the calm before some manner of storm. Say there, lad, have you ever penned a missive? You mean a letter? No, I'm not big on writing. It always takes me forever to figure out what I want to say. to figure out. One simply takes Quill in hand and unleashes their soul upon the canvas of the page. Whatever you say, Vice. <laughs> I love the banter in this game. Hey, Postman. Oh, sorry. You're not him. Oh, this is a different dude, yeah. I'm sure as hell not. I just swung by to pick up a letter and wound up running the damn place. Anyway, you here for a package or something? Uh, no. There's this couple who's always fighting and the husband took off. So I'm trying to track him down. Ring any bells? <laughs> sorry, pal. You're asking the wrong guy. Still, that's pretty weird. My buddy's daughter took off, too. Maybe running away is the oh. cool thing to do now. Uh, did he run off with the daughter? I find it exceedingly unlikely this pair of runaways is mere coincidence. Yeah. Any idea where she might have went? That is the question, isn't it? Actually, you know what? 
I bet she went to check out the huge shipwreck that drifted into the inlet the other day. Okay. Not often something like that comes around. It's all the kids have been talking about. Oh, is this where about. we get to actually deal with the shipwreck? That'd be cool. A shipwreck, is it? I suppose we might as well investigate, seeing as how we lack any other tenable leads. Right. Let's head for the inlet. Kaine. Emil. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kaine? Nothing. Let's get moving. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds to it. New content hype! Yeah, that's what the feeling I'm getting. Seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move him out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. Yes. I've got nothing else to do. The only thing that I'm, like I said, the only quest that I'm really missing that I want to try and do is the flowers. But, I mean, worst case, we go back like we did with the other one. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. Whatever. Sure, you're all right, Kaine. And I say she's definitely not being her usual self. You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure, let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. I don't know. Well, Kids would fucking leads, love it. Let the search begin. Look there, on the floor. I believe we have found ourselves a lantern. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. Seed. Let us fumble about and see if we cannot find one. What? Wait, did you see that girl just now? Yeah. I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Because the door is behind you? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best like track the, her that, down and take her back to town that line us. there, I think, was a little bit odd because it's like the door's behind you. She could have come in the the door when you were getting the lantern. Hmm? 
There's no one here. I mean, I figured it would be like a ghost type thing, but weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, what foolishness! I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. Is Vice scared of ghosts? What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. It looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm. Dude, I know. Is another spirited debate with his wife. Who would have figured oh, that uh, a what book a would be scared of ghosts? Maybe the poltergeist like to fuck with books. Maybe. Let's keep moving. As that sounds just now. Sounds like it came from the floor above us. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance. Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. Treasure! Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. Wonder what it's for. Would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port, all in a painstaking Hi, level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. Give it a nudge. Back in the room. How oh, delightful. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. By my pages. This ship was used by slavers. How uh, simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would mm. seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin for misery in all corners of this accursed world. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I think I see a chain coming I out of wish. the one. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. Yep. I mean, would not be surprised I if this place is haunted. What evil transpired Hang on, I'm gonna grab room. a blanket really quick.
Not that I'm complaining. I'd rather be a little cool and have a blanket than, like, too hot. I actually kind of like it when it's this temperature and weather. My feet are just getting cold. I don't have slippers yet. The exit looks walled off. And I think there's something written on it? And in blood, no less. The smudging makes it difficult to pass, but I believe it reads, let me out. Oh boy. No doubt they can find their human cargo in this room. That's terrible. We may be able to pass through here should we push the shelves in the outer passageway. But these shelves are blocking the exit of that secret room from before. Can they be moved? Only one way to find out. Here we go. So this way I can get whatever that sparkle was. Key. There don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. Ah! The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. Somebody poorly playing a trumpet? <laughs> Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear, it sounded like a girl. This is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold oh. on. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes. This pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm so tired. I actually slept. Hey, Nate. You're lurking. No worries. Thank you for the lurk. We got to new stuff, and it's this exciting. This has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah. And the light it gives off makes me feel, I don't know, safe somehow. Well, aren't we the romantic? The lantern's gonna break, isn't it? The door's worked and unusable. It seems this door will not open. Activation of nap mode entered. I just got up, though. I, well, okay, I've been up for about four hours, but still. I'm a morning person. The kitchen, is it? I don't know why I'm so tired. Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice, hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> to be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Thinking back on it, the cuisine we were served during our visit to the bickering couple's home was quite particular in its choice of ingredients, was it not? Tell me about it. I feel like I've sampled every single recipe in the Apple Fanatics cookbook. Once we mm. track down the ferryman, we should invite them to a meal at our place. A fine idea, lad. Say they are kind of obsessed with apples. Oh, damn. What the hell 
is this smell? Rotting flesh. Perhaps it is wafting from further inside? My bet is rotting flesh. Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. Uh, oh. I think the floor is... Uh-oh. Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. I can't see shit. So if you guys... Is that... You can see anything. You can see more than me. I see like Have you still not a found shadow. The We've no alternative but to scour the ground for it. Nice, that's it. We found the lantern. There we go. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Oh, yep, oh, rotting dear. flesh. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And I fear the missing ferryman. Oh, no. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it. That doesn't seem quite like him. Pull yourself together, lad. I think Vice kind of feels it too. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. Are you two? Hey, I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kaine? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <laughs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. Hmm. Oh boy, safe spot. Well, this would be the final room, yes. Music time. The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. 
Let us proceed with utmost caution. Yes. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Hold, lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Yeah? Something is clearly amiss. You think? Plus, there's a pile of blood in front of her. And she's got the guy's red bag. There. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. The fuck? Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is... You know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's oh God. time of the month? <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Stay the hell away from her. Why there's blood she on the floor, I'm guessing? Or why he thinks there's blood on the floor? Oh boy. All right. Kaine, Camille. We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Let's go. James! Damn it, they're in the way. Looks like we can get out through that hole up there. I was like, did I break it? Yep, my guess is boss time, because that's a lot of defensive items. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. We just got to work on to go back in. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. You. What on earth? Is she a kraken? Maybe like a kraken and a um, like a siren all mixed in one. Is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by sunlight. However, 
Its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once! I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain vigilant! Okay, so it doesn't take damage from the tentacles with faces on them. Don't stop now. Focus on the next one. This thing is gonna pay for what it did to those people. The town will be in grave danger should we leave this creature be. We must end it here and now. There we go. Oh shit, he did it twice. There we go. Now is our chance. Attack with all that you have. Yes. Why does it seem too easy? Am I actually just that overpowered? Did we get it? Oh hell, that thing's huge. Think it could recover from such a grievous wound? Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Here it comes! Dodge! Shade even exists. That thing ain't normal, so stay smart unless you want to get dead. Oh, my God, this thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. Increasing. Yeah, I can see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues. Hey, over here. This guy's important to you, isn't he? <laughs> oh, it's the the postman.
this thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it! So I have to save all of my things for that. I think we're in trouble. My body won't. Damn it. Fuck. Unless. supposed to happen? What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! on the source of its magic. Aim for the head. <laughs> Summon the last of your magic power, you can now press uh, L1 to fire Dark Lance. We can never be together. You disgust me. I feel like that was heartbreaking, but I have no idea what she was saying. Physical attacks useless, thermonuclear are useless. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. Mm -hmm, bacon. You've all done so much for me. Offering a little refuge is the least I can do. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade. But I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. <sighs> Alright, well, we'd better get going. 
There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Hey, did you find my husband? Well then. Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he all right? Please tell me he's all right. Come on, say something already. Aww. Well, I'm not, I mean, like, what would the lie be? That he ran off? Like, that's even worse. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No. It can't be true. That big idiot. Always carrying his bag around. Thinking about me all the time. Oh god. This can't be happening. <laughs> it saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so, lad. You did the best you were able. People disappeared along with that message. Sparkle, they're back. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Yeah, I'm guessing we go back to Popolo again then. I know, Tooch. Oh my god, this game. Hey, Kane. Yeah. When you were threatening that shade on the beach the other day, how did you know it was trying to protect the postman? Just a feeling, I guess. <laughs> All right. Depression simulator, yeah. Next time, though, I'm just gonna have to start games on hard and then turn it down if I need to. It's like everybody is dying. To be fair, they didn't even bother to give him a name, so it shouldn't be too surprising, but... Are you getting too cold? Getting there, like on the edge. <laughs> well, just means that maybe we can open it up like closer to noon, and it'll be like the perfect temperature out. Or when it warms up, we just close the window. Must just close the window. Which is weird because it was like boiling hot the other day, and now it's like cold. 
And we depressingly didn't even get the thunderstorm we were supposed to, to come with it. Nope. I am full. Whoops. Just, I'm so interested to see where the story is gonna go. Because it's like, it's either gonna be completely predictable or I'm gonna be. Shades on the coast, the ferryman dead. You've had quite the rough trip. That poor ferryman used to tell me stories of the epic quarrels he had with his wife. He found the whole thing quite amusing. He loved her, though. He loved her with all that he was. I'm very sad to hear that he's gone. Still, you made it back safe, and I'm glad for that. Have you any new information about the key to the Shadow Lord's castle? I'm still working on the decryption, but I'm afraid progress has stalled. Loyal Cerberus might refer to a dog, but I've never seen anything that would fit the bill. It must be pretty complicated mm. if even you can't decode it. Well, you're our last hope, so please keep trying, okay? I will. By the way, I was walking by your house earlier and I noticed you had some mail. You might want to check it out. Thanks. I'll do that. Okay. Oh, one last thing. No voiceover for this? Since the ferryman was missing work, I arranged for someone else to handle the job. I'll make sure they know to let you use the boat as before. Gotcha. That was weird. Even without those we have lost, the world relentlessly continues to turn. I'm gonna go run through town as well, just in case that finishing that triggered more quests to pop up. I don't think you can stand on the little knob comment. Uh-oh. I love seeing you guys, like, react to what you know is coming. Because it always amps me up. Everyone seems to be suffering. Also, uh, so they, um, they released the data for the PS5, like, some more data for the PS5, and it looks so fucking awesome. Sorry, the PSVR 2. There we go. And it looks so fucking amazing. But, <laughs> I'm really hoping they have PC compatibility and a cordless option eventually, because otherwise, I just, I can't. I spin too much. I'm going to end up tripping myself. Okay. What is this about? 
As per Rule 25,656, please consider this your official notice that the King of Facade has chosen to enter into the ceremony of matrimony. Please lodge all objection, objections and or congratulations through the official channel stated in Rule 38,585. Sincerely, the Facade Royal Office of Marriage and Other Legally Binding Contracts and Concerns. P.S. Hey guys, it's me, the King of Facade. Sorry this is all formal and stuff. Listen, I'm getting married, and I really want you to come, so get over here. The king is getting married. Ah, uh, it does this old book good to see a boy. I like how it's a like this big official letter, and it's like, hey guys, come on over. Probably not a good idea to turn down a wedding invitation from a king. Let's go to facade. It's like, I legit don't think I have any quests aside from... Yeah. I know I could run, but I'm gonna walk just in case there's treasure. Sorry, fast travel, but I'm gonna walk. I just feel like the fast travel is almost not necessary, anyways. It's not in this. I suppose it cuts down a little bit of time, but because the game's not made for the PS5's, like, super loading speeds, it doesn't cut down on that much. Now, if this had the PS5's near instant load speeds, then it would make sense. Like, when I'm playing Genshin, because I play on the PS5, I will actually fast travel even if I'm, like, almost right next to it. Just because it's nearly instantaneous. So if there's a hill, I'm like, fuck that hill. <laughs> I just fast travel. I didn't realize how much the PS5 stuff helped until uh, I tried playing the PS4 version when I was visiting previously. And it, uh... It took like forever to load so then i was like okay well fuck the ps4 version what if i just remote play the ps5 version from the ps4 it actually worked so much better <laughs> little laggy at like right at the start but once it kind of buffered and set itself up it was like flawless The wolves are back! Oh boy. Does it not strike you as curious to find wolves in the desert? Should it? They normally live in forests, yes. Deserts would seem to hold little sustenance for them. Well, I can certainly guess what they've been eating. So the shades have gone down and some of the wildlife is back. Hi, Comet. Hey, 
Prime. Hey, Kitty, happy Friday Eve. I mean, all days are awesome to me now. <laughs> How are you doing? My stress levels are like gone now. <laughs> Did you love my shirt. Thank you. He's got the little frog. I've got a couple of Grogu shirts. I've got a few stitch ones too. I was looking for a specific one, but I can't find it. I think I need to do laundry. You're doing okay? Right, guys have I seen Android yet no uh we've been watching a show called falling skies and I mean it's not bad but it's not great <laughs> I think it's the best way to put it so, uh, I think we've got a couple of shows on kind of on our watch queue right now. But anyway, uh, hold tight. I'm just gonna cut the vlog. I was gonna go give this cat some attention, but. 